Okay, hello everybody. Um, today I'm going to continue the um, tutorial about the heat absorber plate. Uh, today I'm pretty excited because for a long time I've been working uh, to figure out what I'm going to show you today. And um, I think that it should help uh, plenty of people because I couldn't find a step by step. Uh, you know, tutorial about uh, doing transient state. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to convert the steady state project that we did last, uh, or analysis that we did last time, and we're going to create this transient um, simulation, and we're going to create an animation. I have two cases here. So what I'd like to do is actually start from scratch. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this and um, just start from where we last uh, ended with with the steady state uh, simulation so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now okay so now we're gonna go ahead and pull in the fluent box and we can uh, share the geometry by clicking here clicking to where we want to share it like so and the same with the mesh those are both going to be the same uh, and now we can go into the setup uh, I'm going to leave it like this you can do double pre pre precision um, what I should probably say is that right now my I'm working on a ghost hard drive uh, from my school and and um, I'm working on my laptop and uh, I very often get uh, messages or I guess error messages saying that my memory um, isn't compatible with whatever I'm trying to do especially when I'm meshing so um, I want to apologize for that. That's probably the biggest reason why I won't uh, sometimes create a better mesh because I don't have m enough memory to do so. But anyways, let's move on. Uh, when you open up the solver, go ahead and click uh, transient because that's what we're going to do. Um, for the models, we're going to turn on the energy equation just like last time. Materials, we have to do this again, unfortunately. This time, since uh, I already did it, uh, I already explained how to do it in the other tutorial. I'm gonna try to move a little bit faster. Uh, change, create, close. Uh, we are, our two materials, if you don't know, are uh, copper and um, water. So, we just created those water liquid liquid water and copper now the cell zones we're gonna go into here this is our solid should be solid there and we want it to be copper that's correct fluid we're gonna go ahead and keep this fluid but we want to change it from air to liquid water and I'm going to make sure that this is Oh, see, this has to be copper. We don't have a porous zone, so we're unchecking that. I also went over that in the last tutorial. So I'm just going to go through because there's there's a lot to say about the transient uh, setup. And if you have any questions about what I'm doing here, um, you know, uh, I think it reference back to the steady state tutorial that I did. Okay, so the bottom surface is convection. 15 is our heat transfer coefficient. Free stream is 293. Material is copper. Inlet, um, we're going to do 0 0.05 because that's what we used um, the last time for our steady state. And the temperature for the incoming fluid is 293. The interface, we're, we have it as a coupled wall. Let's just make sure everything's correct. Coupled wall, copper, perfect. 
Moving on, this is the same. This is an interior, interior, outlet. I'm going to do an outflow this time. Okay, and the top surface. Same as last time, we're going to do a heat flux of uh, 800 watts per meter squared. And the uh, material is copper. Okay. And the walls, we are going to do convection. Thermal, convection. 15 and 293 and okay so now we've got our boundary condition set what I like to do which is not necessary I should say I didn't um, mention that in the last tutorial but it's not really necessary to delete these materials that you're not using the only reason why I do it see I just deleted aluminum from the solids um, I'm going to delete the air. The only reason why I do it is because uh, it helps me check myself and make sure that I haven't made a mistake somewhere in the boundary conditions, for instance, or the cell, co cell zone conditions, and uh, maybe forgotten to switch one of those from aluminum to copper. Okay, moving on. Um, so all of this I'm going to leave, leave the same. We're going to compute from the top surface. Again, from the steady state, I, I'm just putting that in there because that helped it uh, converge. Uh, you can do an autosave, but um, I didn't do one. What I chose to do instead is an automatic export for, you know, because this is tra uh, transient. So for every time step that we're going to choose when we uh, go to run calculation, every time step, um, when this is set to 1 at least, you're going to be exporting uh, all the data that you place, that you choose from this list to a file. So from here, uh, choose CFD post compatible and leave it binary. And for this um, example, I'm mostly concerned with the temperature. Um, some other things are interesting. Nusselt number is interesting, but um, most importantly, thermal conductivity can be interesting. Static temperature, total temperature. The velocity, of course, where's that? Velocity and magnitude, x, y, z. Um, and let's do pressure, why not? But basically you can choose whichever ones are of interest to you and that's good enough for me. Then the next thing you do is you can choose the frequency as every, uh, like how often is it being exported. I'm going to leave it as one. Um, now we're going to choose a location to save the files. Uh, for me, um, you know, I I already ran this calculation, so this is where I saved my files. You just uh, choose the folder and press OK. I press cancel because um, because well because I'm not going to run this calculation. I'm showing you how to set it up, but I'm not going to actually run it. And um, ba -ba -da -ba -dum. all right, so we are here. Leave this as time step, OK, and now we have that. Now we can go to run calculation. Now for the time step, the time step and the number of time steps and the iterations per time step is what you want to maybe look at the most. And these numbers should change according to your project, whatever you're working on. Um, for this project, uh, I ran it twice, once with, uh, you know, very small time steps and um, we, like I started at 0 0.001 and tried to change it as I went on. The thing is that it takes a very long time to, to go to steady state. Um, to it, The transient state is very long and um, so I left the time step at 1 
that also has to do with my year